Major Richard Ira Bong is America's real Top Gun maverick. He and his P-38 fighter named Marge claimed 40 aerial victories in the Pacific theater of World War II. That makes the Wisconsin native the nation's all-time ace of aces. Uh, Major Bong was born in Superior and lived out in Poplar on the family farm. And he joined the Army Air Forces uh, early in the war. In the late days of the war, Bong was assigned to be a test pilot of early jet fighters. His last flight came August 6, 1945, when his jet failed over a populated area. So he stayed in the plane long enough to re, you know, realign the plane to go into an empty field. And doing so cost him enough altitude to get out. News of the death of America's aviation hero rated bigger headlines than even the dropping of the atomic bomb the same day. The popular VFW requested a surplus P-38 shortly after the war as a tribute to Major Bong. It perched on a pedestal over the town for decades in all weather. It was very rusted out, so in the early 90s they pulled it down off the pedestal and sent it up to the airbase and we had about, oh, probably a dozen volunteers who spent about 20,000 hours restoring it. The restored Marge has been the star of the Bong Veterans Heritage Center for 20 years now. The passage of time has faded memories of Richard Bong in some, but not all Americans. Um, it's about half and half. Some, some know about Major Bong and that's why they're here and others just wander in and wonder what we've got here. What we've got in Superior is a heritage center that pays tribute to the history of all service people along with Major Bong and that's important to the museum's youngest employee, 15-year-old Dallas Jondro. Uh, it's kind of nice to just know what happened in the past, kind of try to prevent it. Holding on to history and superior, Dave Anderson, Northern News Now.